and and the first few years i didn't even have that much interest to be honest because yeah. it was mostly like private lessons and everything we were playing a uh, couple of tournaments in jamshedpur and solapur you know there was under 12 under 14 it's fighting a war without any weapons right so every person who has done it you just have to look around vishnu carried me as a kid so i was 6 years old he carried me in his, yeah. in his arms yeah yeah telling my mom once that i'll be very happy if i'm half the person that vijay is at the age of 35 Hi this is Mukund Sasi Kumar I am 26 years old I am playing for the Gujarat Panthers in the TPL season 5 We want that a few times from you so how did tennis happen tell us uh, my dad introduced me to it uh, I really didn't know what was going on at that age you know why why I was uh, doing this or why he was so much into it but uh, I think he he just had a I wish that I I pursue something which is more unique and he always wanted me to do something at least for the first part of my of my life the first quarter something other than studies how early was good. this how early this was like when I was I I I heard from my mom that already when she was uh, carrying me that he was telling that okay we should try something uh, different with our child you know and uh, Uh, when they were putting the options together i know this sounds crazy but when they thought about okay acting singing or cricket or whatever this would require like uh, someone being uh, needing influence or you know it's not entirely talent based for the right and the wrong reasons nepotism and, uh, is a word uh, used around <laughs> I, every now and then so yeah i'm going to say anything say about it. that I, i didn't say it uh, but uh, and tennis and it came down to tennis or badminton or one of the individual sports where he thought okay the the future or the the rewards may not be as high as cricket or or bollywood or or acting for that matter but at least one depends on his caliber right so he thought okay his son or daughter at least if if they were good enough somebody they'll else they'll make, they'll make it, it. They'll like make at least somebody will not stop them from it and it came down to tennis and uh, and yeah that's how it started and and the first few years i didn't even have that much interest to be honest because yeah. it was mostly like private lessons and everything so it was kind of boring but when i got to the age of 10 11 and i started playing tournaments i figured that i had to do something with my life in any which way you know i But you also realized my... that you're good at it No, I wasn't. To be honest, yeah. I, I really wasn't. We enjoying it at least. You were enjoying yeah. the process, uh, and you enjoying yes, playing it. Yes, yes, and no. Yes, and no. Because I wasn't winning that many matches. To be honest, I wasn't a great junior. Uh, but at one point of time, you know, I I realized that okay, I had to do something with my life, and my effort had to go somewhere. And this, I had it in my hand. So I thought, why not? And and when I started competing at the tournaments. I wasn't like very bad that I wasn't winning a match at all but neither was I good enough to win everything so it was a perfect balance of both so I had uh you know I I had the, the joy of winning some matches and knowing okay there is something in me that I can bank on at the same time I was excited enough to get better and work hard where the excitement didn't die that there's nobody as good as me and you know there's nothing to look forward to So it was kind of the best place to be in. You know, you're not that good, but you're not. I'm also sure it was a great bad. place because, as we speak, Mukund is uh, India number two, <laughs> as we speak, and uh, you've been uh, you've been playing for the Gujarat Panthers. Yeah. With uh, India number one. Yeah. Sumit yeah. and you are are the partners on this. How's that experience? Just you and him. uh i mean for to coming back to sumit it's it's an overwhelming fact for me because the first time i played doubles with him or the, for the, for that matter the first time i met him was in 2008 he had come with his uh, dad from a very normal background uh, he was uh, trying to play we were playing a uh, couple of tournaments in jamshedpur and solapur you know there was under 12 under 14 and little did i know that this uh, this person this kid back then the man now is going to take a set of roger so yeah, you know he did. that uh, it, it was unbelievable for me to see him go through that journey and uh, the first time we played doubles together was in 2008 in punjab you know we lost in the <laughs> in the in the final uh, we lo- i still remember that match uh, you know we, he was asking me to you know lob the ball i didn't know how to do it and he was like <laughs> 
he was like how can he not know how to do that you have I one said, job man just love the ball job, man. no <laughs> love the ball and i i could not do it i was apologizing and i felt quite bad but uh, we had a good week <laughs> we uh, we still made the final and uh, without the lobs yeah, yeah without the lobs you know and uh, he, he 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 was phenomenal like you know he was because i i was this fat kid back then you know i was really obese and round and he was like extremely skinny so it was it was it was kind of like a very uh, like a laurel hardy like, kind of scene yeah it, it was a very kind of weird sighting for someone who saw from outside like one guy looks like a ball one guy looks like a stick and we were playing that doubles together you know so uh, oh my god this was under 14 in asian ranking and uh, the next time we played doubles was this year you know i think uh, 10 what is it like 13 years later we played in the yeah. chennai chennai challenger yeah. So in 2008 know, when you all played now then uh, yeah we played now yeah, yeah yeah 15 years later my uh, so, god so you know to play doubles with you'd gone me to practice your law for 15 years <laughs> that's what you did right yeah. that's yeah, great yeah now man. hopefully i can love a bit better <laughs> but uh, yeah so i think to to be on the same side as him it's uh, it's a very nostalgic journey and also so inspiring to see him all what he has done because in a in a field where uh, you know a person having so much parental support and the and support from the federation and and everything there are guys like him who has also done it without that you know the, without any of that yeah yeah so but both you boys have come a long way yeah we we come a really that long way that's what jamshedpur that's what tournament. i was telling him uh, before going to the court on in chennai you know i i told him of course we could have done better if the pandemic and everything was not there but still it's not bad where we are right now you know yeah, we, man. We, we didn't know that back then we would be playing you know where we are right now at so. the tennis premier league for the gujarat panthers and, and getting interviewed by alec you know my god <laughs> what are the odds of that and i did interview sumit a couple of days back as well so now we've all come full circle yeah yeah we've now we've, we've, we've done we've the drill have. from so, from you auditioning to me uh, playing in jaisalmer to doing this interview in tpl you know. amazing amazing so uh Tell me about the people who have influenced your journey, who have been like heroes for you, and who've got you this far. That now that you know, uh, I think for me, I, I didn't, I never had to look uh, that far beyond for inspiration because I think coming from India, every athlete's journey is nothing less than phenomenal. Because like I said, it's a, it's fighting a war without any weapons right so every person who has done it you just have to look around fighting a war without any weapons so you know if if you take sriram balaji who's who's playing here you know i think uh, when he was selected in the in, this, this i'm talking like way back when when the tamil nadu association had selected him to him and two others and vijay and vijay sundar prashant right uh the guy who was their coordinator who was supposed to take them for tournaments and travel with them he used to you know just take money and uh, not give them anything you know he used to make them travel in unreserved compartments and and steal the money and you know not let them stay in proper hotels and you know just make them serious? stay somewhere yeah no i'm not kidding and that like happened so, and that came out and stuff like it, everyone... i don't know if it came out but this way this is when they were 14 15 years old So when I heard the story when I was 17 you know I said man you know you your dad's paying for your tickets you know you have no issues to do anything you you can play the sport you love what are you whining about so you know, they, and they were my roommates so like I said I didn't have to look beyond anywhere you know there were heroes were, all around me I had heroes all around me so there there's Bala there's Vijay who and Vijay you know he's he stayed If you take Anirudh, right? Uh, the Anirudh, called, of course, of course. Anirudh uh, was playing with Bala. When he had started his doubles journey, I we all grew up in the same academy, like we uh, in Hyderabad. Uh, you know, I ran. What's the academy know, called? It's called the School of Power Tennis. Hmm. It's run by Mr. C V Nagaraj, and that's where Vishnu, me, and everybody played when we. Vishnu Vardhan. Yeah, and that's yeah. where I met Vishnu. Vishnu carried me as a kid. I was six years old. He carried me in his, yeah? in his arms. Yeah, yeah. So when Anirudh Vishnu just carried my kid as well. Uh, Vishnu does that. Vishnu, Vishnu does, does that. that. Vishnu and carries I, kids. I can tell you who. And the kids go far. Ziyan, my son. Go far. Yeah, no, go far. Where, whoever Vishnu carries, they go far. That, that much I can tell you. Uh, so when Ani had started his journey, and he decided that 
he singles was not his thing because it required so much funding and it required so much thing. Uh, he decided to go to doubles and uh, Vijay and him decided to start the journey together. They were like thousand something. Now he's like top hundred in doubles, but yeah, they were yeah. thousand something. They were staying in a hotel in Luxembourg in a different country. And they were playing in a tournament in Belgium because they couldn't afford the hotel in Belgium. So they were staying in Luxembourg, they were taking a train for two and a half hours every day, reaching the venue, playing that match and coming back all the way to Luxembourg again. So they were travelling to countries every day to, to play and they won the tournament and look where Ani is today, right? He's, he's one of the best players we have. So I can go on and on and on about, about these know, journeys. About, about man, these so. journeys. So I, and I think I was the most privileged out of that. You were. I, I didn't. I so didn't you come have, from. Yeah, I have come from. I have come from a family who could afford what I wanted. Of course, like the the the, the desires are unlimited, right? I could have also. And the traveled. challenges are different. Challenges are everyone. different. Like I could right. have traveled with. I could not afford like five physios and five trainers, but I could do what what was at least the minimum. So for me, it was always about just worrying what happened on the tennis court. Like I didn't have anything else to think about, like all the other guys. You know, the paraphernalia was not that important. It was not. It was not. Like I, I never. Ha there were situations where it was tight with money and everything, but it's not like I, I don't know what to do the next week or something like that. So, for me, I always came down to something when I was depressed or when I was whining or when I was negative. I said, okay, you know. Look at these guys, and you don't have those issues. So you, you know, can't the, possibly you, be. You can't possibly sad be about negative. You can't this. possibly be sad. You just have to hit the tennis ball better, and then you know all will be fine. And you see these guys; they're always so like happy, and they're like in the yeah. That, that, and that's my that's my inspiration about my personality. You know, I remember telling my mom once that I'll be very happy if I'm half the person that Vijay is at the age of 35 because it's very difficult to. Uh, to still be humble and still be kind when the world hasn't treated you that well. You know, because a lot of people, they take the other way and they said, nobody did this to me, so I am and not going to they get bitter help. about they it, right? They get really about bitter about it. And but these gentlemen, they have chosen to still be the person, the people they are at heart originally and still continue to be the gentlemen they were. And uh, that's, class. Know, that, that's, that's, that's class. That's class. That's true class. That's true class, man. That's true elegance, true class, and it's uh, it's an amazing. I, I think I feel very honored to have to have seen these these men grow into the people they are, the players they Mukund's are. Mukund's dropping some gems, guys. Yeah. I hope you're getting this because this is like really. I'm gonna I'm gonna meet Balaji. I'm gonna meet Vijay. I'm going to meet Vishnu and I'm going to hug them like really tight. I'm going to yeah. embarrass them and I'm going to go <laughs> hug them and I'm going to be like, dude, why is this guy hugging me? No, and if I look at Bala now, he, he has a son, you know. He's yeah, I met Vyan. And I, I, I sometimes I don't have words for it because there are times where marriage was just a discussion, right? We were traveling together, just talking about who we might end up marrying and everything. And today, you know, he, he's a family man. He's, his wife is here, his kid is here. And we are already talking what the kid should do. So... <laughs> So you know, wow. yeah, it's been, life comes it's full been, circle. Yeah, yeah, life definitely and then comes just like, full circle. I feel, I feel very lucky to have witnessed all of this. You know, there's definitely something that uh, I have to be very thankful for. Vishnu is actually that he'll be pissed that I didn't mention his name. If you are, if you pick one inspiration for me, he's my first because at the, yeah, yeah, because at the age of six when I saw. It's the 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 courts in RRC. My dad used to drive because he had office at nine, so he couldn't go go late. So he used to take me out in the early mornings. It used to be all foggy, and uh, the academy was empty. You know, the three courts. There's nobody there. There's one man doing his his court drills. You know, like th like I saw who is this that was this Vishnu guy, Vardhan. and that was Vishnu Vardhan. You know, doing it alone, nobody there. He's doing his fitness. He's focused. He's he's uh, you know zoned in. And then I, I go there and he says, hey, would you like to join me? So you do one set and I'll do one set. And and uh, that, that's where I may saw him the first time. And every time he used to he used to do his cool down, he used to take me because for me to catch up to his jogging speed, I had to sprint. So every time his cool down, he used to take me with him and we used to do those rounds together. And he he was my first role model, like my first inspiration, my first role model. For Mr. Vardhan. Extremely special. And uh, 20 years, I think, yeah, 20 years later, we won a doubles title this year. And uh, I was in a very low state 
you know the you and him won a double side yeah together. me and him won a double side together and i was in a very low state in my life a very low point and i felt he carried me the same way 20 years later he, i still felt like he was holding my hand and from that week on i i had a much better year and i am at a much better place now so so it Mr. felt Vardhan, the same way we love you man yeah, we, we absolutely love, love you yeah. I don't know why I love you, but I also love you, man. <laughs> just, I'm just jumping onto the Vishnu Vardhan love train. Nah. Yeah. That's so cool, man. <clears throat> so Mukund, just coming back to like normal yeah. questions now. Yeah. Do you have like a like a ritual or something that you follow <laughs> before you go out to play? Is there like a thing where you place your bottles at a certain angle and then you keep adjusting? Absolutely them? not, because my I think I'm very unpredictable. Nobody knows what the hell is going to happen. You know, I could come out lights out, I could not. So sometimes I sometimes even you don't know what's going to happen. Even I don't know what's going to happen. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I I did try it a few times in life, oh, but that, but yeah. no superstition could repeat yesterday's performance. So I gave up. You know, that yeah? nothing could <laughs> nothing helped. <laughs> So yeah, it happens, man. But that's the thing about the tennis Premier League. Like the yeah. format is such; it's such a fast-paced thing. What do you think about this? It's your first time playing the tennis Premier League. Yeah, uh, it's right, it's right, right. First, right. So how do you feel about this this league and this this format and just the way the tournament's going? What What are your thoughts? And it's a very uh, adrenaline boosting uh, thing because uh, it's a pump, right? You know, yeah, it's going a pump. pump and and not, not very often you you get to be in this team atmosphere in tennis. Also, it's such an individual individual yeah. sport, and you're maximum doing your own like thing. Like a double, that's it, right? Yeah, maximum yeah. max you can play as a double. So you know, to have a girl playing for you, and then you play mixed doubles with her, and then you play men's doubles, and you're counting points, and every point is important. So that that's. That's a lot of How fun. How do you choose the team composition? For example, like you've not played the singles yet. You come in for the mixed doubles and then you play the men's doubles. So how does that like? What are the? Well, I don't think uh, you all feel like we should switch that around a little. And of course, I think in. in hindsight, you know, it would have uh, we all you know make different decisions when you look back. But uh, going into the singles, I uh, going into at least uh, this TPL concerning Gujarat Panthers, I don't think it would have made. Uh, sense to put Sumit in mixed doubles when he's such a phenomenal singles player right, and he's had right. such a great season. And uh, the he's been in form. He's been in form. Yeah, right? he's been yeah. in great form. And looking at the conditions uh, here, it's fast, it's lively. So the main priority was to hold serve and to get the match as close as possible. If you're losing, to lose 11-9 like, at a max or yeah. tie 12-8 worse on, on worst, the worst game. on a worst case to keep it 12-8. So you know me serving like that, it made. A lot of sense for me to play those two right. Makes matches sense. and at least give the girl the the security that okay, at least one of the two points on my serve is fine. We're so gonna she get can that. Play right, right, a bit right. more, uh, bit more free. You all have had a and bit of an injury scare in the team where yeah, you started with Karman and now you have uh, switched to Ekaterina Yashina. Yeah, right. So how's that been to adapt to that? No, oh, well, I, I, it went much easier than I expected because she's actually uh, come out. Uh, she's actually come she's out. She's come guns out kicking, blazing, right? Come, come out guns blazing. You know, I didn't. I, I, when Karman told me that she might not play, I was like, okay, will I be able to communicate the same way? Uh, I you know I haven't known uh, Yashina for a, a, at all, so you know it all started with a hello. Uh, so I was a little skeptical about it, but when I went there, it was very different. You know, I I I felt really comfortable. She is a very disciplined player. I think she doesn't try anything out of the books or what she's not supposed to. Is very uh, you know zoned in to what she has to be doing, and she tries to execute it. So you know, you you're not at all nervous about what might come. Right, so you, right, right. you know, you're playing your side of the court. You you know that she can hold the ground. <coughs> so it was, you know, uh, turned out to be much better than expected, you know, and I had a great time with Karman as well. India's number two, Mukund Sasi Kumar. That's just delightful. Takes pace off it. Beautiful. That's what we want to see from Mukund Sasi Kumar.